It has been widely known over the years that there is a spirit here called Margaret Della Pomeroy. Um, even though that spirit exists, um, she isn't the lady in white uh, at all. Um, it's been documented on online and books um, and in the media that Margaret Della Pomeroy is the white lady, um, which actually isn't true. Um, there's been a lot of inaccuracies over the years with regards to the facts of the names of the spirits. But I can confirm that the actual Lady in White herself is a spirit called Matilda Della Pomeroy, who was one of the sisters. Um, Margaret was one of the sisters, and you had Eleanor. Um, but there was actually two Eleanors that uh, lived at the castle. You had um, Eleanor Pomeroy, and you had Eleanor Seymour. But later on, when the Pomeroys sold the castle to the Seymours, you had a young woman called Elena Seymour, which have been, um, but there have been some documented uh, evidence uh, to suggest that, uh, yeah, she she was um, one of the youngest daughters of uh, the, the Seymours, um, and she has been picked up by mediums as well. Um, and recently, um, she has been picked up by mediums um, on a recent visit to the castle. Um, but Matilda. Um, she is uh, the lady in white. Um, there's also another woman called Elizabeth, uh, who's also been seen, and she's also been seen dressed in white. So, the, so you could actually say there is two ladies in white here. Um, so there are um, a lot of inaccuracies with regards to names and uh, misunderstandings and some of the things that are out there in some of the history books some of it is inaccurate, um, which I believe that they need to rewrite a lot of the history here, um, because we've had documented evidence from the mediums that have been here over a period of time, and, and the actual um, evidence has, you know, with regards to the evidence um, that, that's come out, um, we've actually found by actually visiting Berry Pomeroy Church, which is St. Mary's Church, because according to the mediums, uh, the mediums were actually told from spirit to actually go to the church of, of Berry Pomeroy. And we've been able to gather some evidence um, of what the truth is with regards to the Pomeroys and the Seymours, um, because, you know, majority of people that come here because it's called Berry Pomeroy Castle, people spend a lot of time sort of speaking about Pomeroys rather than the Seymours, but the Seymours actually owned the land here. So, um, and they frowned upon the fact that uh, the Pomeroys obviously were getting a lot of the credit, but even though they lived here uh, for a period of time, um, it was actually... Uh, the Seymours were actually um, was was the ones that built the land that were actually the ones that lived here a lot longer, um, but they're the ones that uh, obviously they changed a lot of the the castle. Um, they changed a lot of things at the castle, um, and they they built built it up a lot in different areas, but didn't uh, complete it. Um, so we've been able to find out uh, through the mediums. Um, at uh, my disposal um, over a period of time um, some truths with regarding the castle um, which spirit has uh, helped um, in finding out the truth um, because the mediums um, have actually communicated with uh, some of the spirits that are here and been able to find out some you know some real top-notch uh, evidence um, and um, from what we found out, there is, uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, new evidence that's come out, which uh, which is there um, to see. Um, and uh, so, basically, certain names are, you know, I mean, obviously, with regards to the Pomeroys and the Seymours, well, some of the names like um, Elizabeth, well, there was a spirit called, um, or a person lived at the castle called Elizabeth Pomeroy, but also there was Elizabeth Seymour because uh, Elizabeth was a very, very popular name. So um, we, we've been able to find out quite a lot of evidence um, with regards to some of the things that have uh, 
that have appeared in books um, because a lot of that is based on folklore and legend and myth you know but it's not necessarily the truth 